Thanks Beam for sponsoring this video. I like to call this the MSG of Italy, but it's also used in many other countries. It's the key ingredient that makes most popular sauces in the world great. And today I'll be dry aging steaks with it. My hopes is that it's gonna turn out fantastic, because we are about to find out right now. And for that I chose this beautiful four bone ends rib roast. It is choice grade, which by itself is not the best, and at the same time, it is perfect for today's experiment. Now in order to have consistency, the first thing I'm gonna do is to split this in half. Having two pieces is the key. This way we're gonna have one as a control as a real dry aged one and the other one we're gonna be using the anchovy. And if there's any improvement, we will know. Now the first thing I gotta do is to dry age the real one. This one is quite simple. All I have to do is to put it on my cooling rack and put it in my dry ager. The second one on the other hand, things are about to get a little bit messy. First I lay down some parchment paper. Then I immediately went in with the anchovies, adding as many as possible. But here's where I ran into a problem. I thought they were gonna be easy to smash with a fork, but I was totally wrong. So I went ahead and threw everything in my food processor instead. After blending everything on high, it is much easier to use now on the parchment paper. Everything is almost like a paste. This is exactly what I was looking for, as the next thing to do was to go ahead and add the beef. Adding it to the bottom of the parchment paper will ensure that it has nice contact with the anchovy, because what's about to follow is to cover the whole thing with it. I'm talking about the more anchovy paste, the better. I made sure that the whole thing was gonna bet complete coverage, so I kept going until I got every single edge, because once I was done, this is what it looks like. The world's first anchovy dry aged steak. Now this is something you do not see every day, but hopefully it's gonna turn out great and I cannot wait to find out what's about to happen. After 35 days in the dry ager, this is what it looks like. As you can see, this little dark spot right here got me a little worried. I was not quite sure what was happening. At the same time, mold started to form around it. So I quickly started removing all of the anchovy. And that's because it had already did its job. And as soon as I start removing it, you can really see the differences between the meat. And since it preserved most of the moisture on the steak, I believe it's going to be more similar to wet aging than dry aging. But I'll tell you one thing, it smelled wonderful. So I kept going and trying to remove every single edge of the anchovy out, because once I was done, take a look, it completely changed color on me. Not only did it oxidize, but it also created a different kind of color that I'm not used to. One of the most impressive things for me was the smell. It did not smell fishy whatsoever. Right about this time I was super excited to find out what is it gonna taste like. And whenever you dry aging any steaks, the first thing you gotta do is remove the pellicle. That is this outer skin that is formed whenever you dry aging steak. So I went ahead and started by removing the bones. Once that was done, I went ahead and cut it in one and a half inches thick steaks. And I'll tell you one thing, they are looking gorgeous. This is exactly what you're looking for. You can clearly see the differences between the inside and out. At the same time, the pellico has to go. So I made sure to go ahead and remove all of it out. But don't forget that we have the real dry aged one. Now this is exactly what I'm looking for whenever I dry age steaks. It's been going for 35 days and because of the humidity I had at on my dry ager, it's not too dry, which is exactly what we want. We want the steaks to age, but not get super dry. And the more I do it, the more I learn. So I treat it the same exact way as the previous one, removing the pellico and cutting out some beautiful steaks. And in the end, take a look. We got the anchovy dry age on the left and the real dry age ones on the right. There is some steel oxidation throughout all of them, but hopefully the flavors are gonna be completely different. To ensure that we're really gonna feel the flavor, I'm gonna be keeping the seasoning real simple. I went with a good of salt followed by freshly ground black pepper, nothing else. Because now, the only thing left to do is to go ahead and cook them. First, I'll be putting a nice wonderful sear. Once that's done, I'll be cooking them in indirect heat until I reach an internal temperature of 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And for that, I'm going to be using my Chef IQ smart thermometers. So now I say it is enough talking and it is time to grill some beautiful dry aged anchovy steak. So let's do it.
Before moving forward, I want to thank today's sponsor, Bean. I recently spent some time in Japan. Honestly, best trip of my life. But after coming back, my sleep was off. It's a big time difference and it messed up my sleeping cycle. Sleep is important and I want to feel rested, energized, and focused throughout the day. I found Beam and I finally got my sleep back. I feel amazing, everybody. I even wake up before the alarm goes off. It comes in different flavors and potencies, so you can customize it for your lifestyle. I'm taking the version that has L-theonine, magnesium, melatonin, and Rishi in it. There's also one that has CBD in it, which has additional benefits to improve your sleep. Dream powder contains no added sugar and it is only 15 calories. Well, my actually comes out to a little bit more because I add two scoops and a little bit of milk. And it's like tasting a wonderful, delicious hot cocoa about 45 minutes before bed. The next morning, I'm focused and energized because I got a wonderful sleep. Click on the link below and use code Guga to get 35% off on your first order when you subscribe and then 20% off on all following orders. That's code Guga to get 35% off on your first order when you subscribe and then 20% off on all following following orders. Plus, when you subscribe to Dream Powder, you will receive a free frother with your first order. You can pause, skip, or cancel anytime, so there's no risk. Thanks, Bean, for sponsoring this video, but now let's get right back to it. All right, everybody, here we got our beautiful steaks. Are you guys hungry? Those look like some amazing steaks. Yes, Those they do. Nice. Has been a while that we haven't done an experiment, and yeah. it's about time. Would you guys agree? I yeah. just hope it's good. It feels a little <laughs> bit weird seeing that the table is this empty. Like yeah. now we just got steaks, no side dish, nothing. But I am not complaining because those steaks look pristine. No side dish whatsoever today. This is 100% about this concentration on this experiment. I want your honest opinion. Enough talking and let's eat. Are you ready? Yes. All right. All right, dig in, gentlemen. Please, go. Let's, let's go. Do it. Mm. Ooh, nice and moist. Trying to get an understanding of this experiment oh, oh, here. What's oh. going on? I yeah. see. What All I doing. know is this looks like a really tight steak. This one's tender as hell. Just the way I like it. You ready to go? Super juicy, easy to cut. What? Can't wait to try this. Why does it look like your mouth salivating? Because it is. <laughs> <laughs> Enough talking. Let's give it a go. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, oh man. <laughs> if there's one thing I miss, is a steak like this, everybody. Woo! Can you guys tell what it is? And a steak like this means a dry aged steak. You're absolutely right about that. Wow. <laughs> oh, you ate the whole thing? Yeah, I had to. Google, it's been a long time. I would say too long since we've had a dry aged steak. I agree. It's crazy how you take a, a normal steak and it elevate it to such a nice level where you get an improved level of beefiness, an improved level of tenderness and juiciness all in one fell swoop. It has an amazing flavor, an amazing taste, amazingly soft. Dry aged, if you guys haven't tried it, you don't know what you're missing out on. You gotta try this. Not only I 100% agree, but I'll make it simple for people to understand. It's delicious, everybody. And how, how many days, if you don't mind asking? 35. 35. That's the way we like it, baby. Dude, let me tell you something. There's one thing about dry is that you can play with it and you can find out how far you like it. Yeah. And to be honest, 14 days to like 45, that's like money. It's so over. you really like this one. I freaking love it. Let's see if this next one is going to be better or worse. Oh, no, Google. Why are you scaring me? <laughs> you scare me now. Dig in. Oh, this one's like falling apart. Soft. Oh, super Very tender. Juicy. Can you please smell it and let me know if you smell anything different? It's very subtle. Yeah. What, what are you doing? I'm trying to like figure out what it smells like. I need to smell it with my tongue. Enough talking, let's give it a try. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Oh, dude. Oh! More tender, more flavorful. That's a 10 out of 10 we'll highly recommend already, everybody. This is an 11. It is. Can you guys Ooh. tell what it is? I have no idea, but it's good. Not it's really. good. <laughs> I, I know it's good. Whatever weird thing you put on it, it tastes amazing with this steak. I feel like just an improvement in juiciness, the tenderness, but more importantly, the savoriness of the steak. I feel like it's significantly like saltier, which I am a huge fan yeah, of. It is saltier. Yes. It's saltier, but it's also got like a uh, little umami in there, you know? Yes. You know what's funny, everybody? I will explain. Sometimes you dry edge a steak on different weird things. The improvement is just a little bit. I'm gonna be on a limb here and go and say that the improvement of this steak steak is a 100% improvement. It tastes different. It's slightly more savory, yep. but it's not because of the saltiness. It's actually because of anchovy. Oh. No. Yes. This is straight up anchovy. That's So we wild. dried it in anchovy. I will be honest with you. I don't like anchovy. I know, but it's about the umami flavor. It's about the taste and all the other things. I'll be honest with you guys. When you put it on the refrigerator, it might be a little bit stinky, everybody, but when you take it out, it smells like heaven. The fishiness, all that smell completely goes away. It is 100% worth it. I highly recommend you giving it a try. Just make sure that your wife does not open the refrigerator 
there because oh god she might just kick you out of the house me like the anchovy that, that's really good i still feel the flavor in my mouth 100 percent. i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that thumbs up if you're not a subscriber be sure to subscribe remember everything i use is always in the description down below don't forget everybody my book is already out and if you haven't gotten yours all the crazy insane experiments i've done i put it in one master book with incredible side dishes everything that i have learned over the past years that i've been cooking steaks all in here and a lot more go get yours right now oh okay <laughs> see you guys on the next one take care trying to read that bye, -bye. One. <laughs>